Oh my goodness, y'all. Well, this is the first. I told y'all, you just don't know how things are gonna happen. What is happening, y'all? This is Jason over here at good old Cog Hill Farm. And I hope you guys are having just the most wonderful day today. We're sure gonna try to have one here ourselves. Uh, you know, we got chores we gotta do, but you know, uh, a lot of y'all have been asking me almost every single day because they're just y'all are just so interested in it because I've been mentioning that the animals are doing really well going up at night and you guys want to see it. We got farm chores to do today. We got some, we got to run a town, do some errands. So that's what we're going to try to do today for you guys. Take you around with me this morning and then later on this evening, fingers crossed our animals will act right and I'll show y'all the progress. I personally are quite happy with it. I am. But these are farm animals and anything can happen this evening and they can make a fool out of me. You know what I mean? But let's go take care of the honeymooners right off the bat this morning. I'm not gonna forget Peach's food today. Cause see, the honeymooners are over here, right? And Peaches was over here with them or right by them. She was next door. They were neighbors, next door neighbors. And so I just fed the pigs at all at the same time. But now the honeymooners, the Gus Bus and lovely Loretta are over here. And the boss lady, Miss Peaches, is over there at the new barn. So, you know, I forget Peaches' food, but not today. Not gonna do it today. Not gonna do it today. Goodness, goodness, good morning. I'm not gonna make the mistake I've made two days in a row. And that is forget Peaches feed and have to walk back over here, guys. I'm not gonna do that. Well, Brooke and Mary Carl are back from their little trip yesterday. And let me feed them. Y'all get back, get back. Come on, come on. Man. Whew. They might be worse than the boy goats. Anyways, as I was saying, Brooke and Mary Carl are back from their little trip yesterday. I had, I had plans to get started on Nuggets Pasture, which is right here today, since Brooke is back. And as, you know, our next step is to actually get the H-post bracing uh, done. That way we can start pulling fencing. But as you guys know that follow us, there's two things that doesn't register in my mind and it just, it goes right over the top. And that is names and dates. I can't remember names and I can't remember dates. And we had a few errands that we need to run in town this morning. And then Brooke said, by the time we get back, it's gonna be, you know, almost lunchtime that we can get started in the morning and knock it out all in one day. And I think she's right. Nugget, don't be mad at me. We're gonna have to delay your pasture building by one day, okay? It's only one day though. What they say, patience is a virtue. Is that how that goes? Unlike this thing, she has zero patience. Zero patience. You've already eaten, girl. You've already eaten. Yeah. You know, they claim pigs are like the fifth smartest animal in the world, but their downside is their hunger drive. And you can see, you can see what I'm talking about with Loretta. Loretta, Gus. You know, to me, Gus is not as food motivated as Loretta is. I don't know why Loretta's such a pig, but 
This seems way more calm. I mean, he's not peaches mellow. Not, not many pigs are that I know of, but he is mellow compared to lovely Loretta. All right, let's go get the boss lady fixed up. I keep saying that. I'm not used to this new setup where we're feeding these animals here and then going over there and feeding those animals and those guys are in the evenings and we're gonna get it, but the boys are standing here looking at me this morning. So I figure I better go ahead and get these guys taken care of right here. What's up, Moo? What's up, Joe? What's up, Mo? You loving these cool mornings? Yeah, me too. Me too. I say cool mornings, like 70 degree mornings. Feels awesome. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. I would, I like it for it to be just a little bit cooler. I like it when, it, when it's in the 60s. High, you know, the high 50s and the 60s, that's what I like. While I'm over here with the boys, I want to show you guys if he gets a little closer. Big Joe right here. Big Joe, Big Joe's udder's gone down a little bit. Let's see if I can get him, show it to you. Now granted, it's still, it's still large. It's still large, you can see his udder, but it's not the size that it was. Look out, Mo. Look out, Mo. Look out, buddy. Mo. But Big Joe's udder has gone down some. Oh, Joe. Nugget, you ain't been milking Joe, have you? Okay, I'm just checking. I was just want. You ain't been nursing on Joe, have you? That's more like it. Huh? You ain't been nursing on Joe, have you? No. I know Moody ain't been nursing on you. He can't get down that low, I don't think. Yeah. All right, I just wanted to show everybody you. You utter there how it has gone down some. But, uh, you're still something special, buddy. <laughs> yes, you are. We're probably going to grab Mildred some cattle feed since she is going in her stall at night and get her off the goat feed. I know I gotta get that trough out of there. I had that little black trough in there for uh, for Topper when he was in there. He could reach the big one, but he had a hard time. But the rest of the goats and everybody can reach that tall water. So, matter of fact, let's see if I can get it out now before you tear it up. Yeah. Now. Now I don't have to worry about it. We have a lot of eggs. Yeah. Look at here. Somebody had gathered eggs this morning. Ooh, look at that one. Isn't it pretty? That thing's a, that's gotta be a double yoker right there. We have more colored eggs, I think, now than we do they are brown great. eggs. Got a couple of feathers, but they're clean. I agree. We're, we're getting a lot. Of, I saw one the other day that was almost gray. Really? Weird, yeah. And then we have this one that's mixed in with the bunch. Oh, the little white one. Need a tiny one. Mm. But yeah, the girls are laying well. And and maybe if we have time this afternoon, we can move that chicken tractor. Right. It needs to be moved. Well, they got to be locked up. So. Oh, that's right. I It'll forget that tomorrow. every time. Yeah. You know what? Every tomorrow time. Tomorrow morning, we'll move them. That'll work. Okay. All right. I think the honeymooners are worse than you guys now. I really do. I really do. <clears throat> All right, come on. Y'all got to get back now. I just said that y'all were better than the honeymooners. All right, there we go. And I didn't get bumped this morning. A lot of times, they hit me or rub up against me, and then I smell like mojo for the rest of the day. 
which is not, not a pleasant smell. You know, I don't smell like Stetson for men when I walk out of the boys' goat pen. It's probably, probably a lot of you, maybe some people don't know what Stetson for men is. <laughs> I still today remember those commercials. That was a manly commercial. You had to, it's a men's cologne that was popular um, back in the 80s, probably 70s too, but Stetson for men. You know, that reminds me of Burt Reynolds. That's what it reminds me of, Stetson for men. Me and Mary Carl recently watched Smokey and the Bandit, and y'all, that was my favorite movie as a child that I remember. There's some movies that I remember growing up and that just kind of just that you just remember they just stick with you forever and the two i think of is Smokey and the bandit and grease so that means me and mary carl now have to watch grease i gotta show her grease love those movies but i have forgotten how awesome Smokey and the bandit was and y'all Mary Carl laughed and laughed and laughed until she was crying. She gets her sense of humor from me, obviously. Good morning, y'all. Hey, Mildred. Hey, Jesse. I see you, boss lady. Hey, guys. So this evening, I want to come back and show everybody, the entire COG squad right here, how well you guys are doing in the evening times, okay? So you know what that means. That's right, Don't no shenanigans. Y'all gonna act right, you're gonna act like you did the last two nights, and everybody's gonna be on their best behavior. If not, I got the deputy, Jesse right here, and the boss lady in here to um, write you guys up if not, all right, best behaviors this evening. I don't, I don't know if they listen to me or not, but it's worth a shot, right? Okay, so the only animal I have to feed over here is peaches. Everybody else gets feed in the evening times, or fed in the evening times, sorry about that. Uh, I'm letting peaches food soak. Y'all know we put you know, we water our pigs feed down. That's what was recommended to us by the University of Auburn, Auburn University. They're the big, large vet school here in Alabama. If not, if not the Southeast, them and Mississippi State are pretty big vet schools here. And that was their recommendation. Plus on peaches, y'all know that we put mineral oil on hers and then all the pigs get a children's vitamin. You know, we used to call them Flintstone vitamins, but the um, children's vitamin, I guess that's the, the correct term. Peaches, your food looks good. I can hear you grunting. What is so cool about these stalls is I can just feed everybody without having to worry about static. Here you go, Peach. All right, let's let everybody out this morning. See y'all eyeballing the boss lady's food, but guess what? Y'all can't get it. Unless one of you guys decide to jump that 50 inch fence right there. I don't see that happening. Hello, Miss Mildred. Hey, Miss Jessie. Hello, goats. You guys ready? You ready to come on out? All right, come on. Come on, let's go. Everybody out this morning. Y'all got a slow start, don't you? Hmm? Hey, Skipper Tipper. Hey, buddy. Come on out. That's right, come on out, y'all. Is that everybody? Yep, don't see anybody else. We're good to go. Good deal. Check y'all's minerals. Tell y'all, not minerals, yeah, we're good. The loose minerals are good. We need to pick up another bag though. We're almost out, water's okay. 
You guys, you guys are good until this evening, okay? So listen, listen. This evening, y'all, I need y'all on your best behavior because look, I'm gonna show everybody how well you guys are doing, okay? So, don't let me down, okay? I tell you, one I'm more impressed with is this one right here. Mildred. Mildred is really doing well going in this last stall right here. She is. I knew Huggy Buggy right here was going to be fine. I wasn't worried about her. How's everybody doing this morning? They're doing great. Have you hey, noticed? Baby. Do you notice how hey, calm things seem since we oh, moved them over gracious. here? It's I mean, just... look at the goats. This just... is a low-key... Farm. I mean, it is so calm. It's almost like, a, like you're meditating. And it is <laughs> With just, animals. It is. It's calm. I mean, Jessie's over here getting her hugs as usual. But I mean, look at Mildred, and look how the goats are acting. I mean, it's just peace. I think that it was there was a need for it. Hey, buddy. Well, except, for that. except the, they just knocked the tripod over. That's okay, though. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Topper's happy? Oh, yeah. Jesse's gonna get up on you. Yep. All right, they're going, they're headed to the woods, I believe. Look at there. All headed to the woods. All except for Jesse. Jesse is. Well, she's gonna follow. She's headed that way as well. She's gotta make sure everybody acts right. <laughs> yeah, Jesse keeps everybody straight now. I ain't gonna lie. She, um, look at her. She's got that little trot going now. We, we, we if she was a, uh, if she was a male, we may have to change her name to Barney Fife. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. And there they go. But you know what? They don't, you know, my worry was they're gonna get in the woods and just. Never come back. Go, you know, just get over there, eat everything in sight in one day, never come back, and that's not the case at all. It's a happy medium. It really is. But you're right. They're not back there just... They're not just... Acting like... Acting like Loretta. You know, that's... They're not. They're over there just chill and enjoying the woods. Matter of fact, since they're all down, I'm going to go ahead and open her gate. She's about done. She's just licking the plate now. Looks like we're going to have to do some stall cleaning. Look, behind you. The crew. They threw their little morning. The crew. Their little morning jog down to the forest, and now they're back. We got to finish up the chores, and then we got to do some errands in town. And then we're going to come back and see. If y'all are still behaving. If y'all are still behaving. I done... I done I'm going to talk to you guys up now. Don't let me down, okay? All right. <laughs> so I want to show you guys Brooke's awesome pansies. If y'all didn't see her video that she made, we put some green stalk planters out here at our entrance and filled them up with pansies. And look how beautiful they are. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to tell you, they have doubled in size since we planted them. Doubled in size. I like to take this off. I do too, but I just didn't because I thought it looked pretty coming out the end of the spout. <laughs> you ready? Well, are they ready? They're ready. The there we go. And how easy is that? I'm Pretty just sure. amazed how beautiful they are. Here, mm -hmm. down, I was traveling on down. Chambers. Pretty pretty. And there's the other one over there. I gotta give it a dose of water. Yeah. Yeah, in uh in about three or four weeks, they're gonna be just hanging over. You won't see any of this black. Mm -mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Voila! Good deal. All right, y'all, we got eggs in the fridge. 
and we got some coffee out here on the stand and still going good the farm stand has been a blessing for us and the community doing real good and brooke's now watering her mom's right there she got help from her boys and again if you didn't see her video we got the farm stand decorated out here of course we got our moms over here they were watering right now but farm stand has been awesome just awesome what are you doing are you hiding behind me are you camera shy what's going on here what's going on here huh? what's going on here huh all right girl we got we got all the chores done today so well except the evening chores we gotta go run the town though okay I gotta go run to town, do a bunch of errands. So when we get back from town, from all the errands we gotta run, we're gonna wait till this evening and we're gonna show the crew how awesome your buddies are doing in the evening time, okay? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I gotta, I, we gotta go get Mildred some cattle feed. You, you wouldn't mind helping me get it unloaded, would you? And some minerals. We got to grab some minerals, too. Yes. All right. Yes. You have a lovely day, lovely Loretta. You and the Gus Puss. Yes. you guys we got some minerals we got Mildred some cattle feed and it is six o'clock well almost ten after six but around six o'clock is when I start heading on over there to um to put everybody up and that's just the routine I've been using uh, it's not quite dark I didn't want to wait till it's pitch black dark or dark to start doing it I kind of did that the first two nights and I realized that that's, that that's a little much. So doing it right here around six has been working out well. By the time I get through putting them up and stuff, the sun's done set pretty good. Let me get Mildred's feed. Hey, Tucker. And this is Mildred's cattle feed right here. It comes from Kambach. And this is the formula of champions. And this is what Moody has as well. It's going to be interesting to see if Mildred likes to feed, which I think she will. Uh, we're going to see our first reaction, all of us. We're all going to catch it <laughs> tonight. Her first initial reaction when she eats the cow feed or cattle feed. All right, everything's loaded up. They've been doing good. They've been doing good. The last two or three nights have been excellent, so hope they don't make a fool out of me. And you know what? If they do, they do. They're uh, they're farm animals, so you know anything's possible. Well, let's see if Holly needs to ride. Uh, I think she's gonna play with the boys. Okay, off we go. Good evening, crew. Look at y'all. Look at them all here. This is what we're talking about right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, y'all. Well, this is the first. I told y'all, you just don't know how things are going to happen. And for the past three nights, I'm trying to think how long Peaches has been over here. This is day four, I believe. Peaches has gone up in Jesse's stall, but tonight... Peaches is in the goat stall. Y'all see her right over there? Look. Which is not the end of the world at all. We're not, Peaches is not going to eat or anything, so we're cool there. All right, Mildred. 
We got your feed right here, baby girl. But I need to go get your bowl. All right, let's go get Mildred's bowl. Peaches, you threw me a curveball this evening. You know it? All right, this is Mildred's bowl right here. All right, Mildred, I got you. I got you, girl. I got you. Yep. All right. We're gonna feed Mildred and Jesse first. Actually, we'll get Jesse first. So we're gonna get Jesse first, and that is Jesse's stall right there, the one Tip's in. But don't worry about Tip. Jesse will get Tip out. But y'all can see Jesse is ready. Come on, Jesse. Go on out, Tip. Go on, Tip. Go on, Tip. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on, Jesse. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, Jesse. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, Jesse. All right. All right, Aunt Jesse. There you go. Now. Let's see if Mildred does right. Mildred's next. And Mildred is going on the very end down there. Come on, Mildred. Come on, Mildred. Come on, Mildred. Let's go. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, good girl. All right. Y'all get back. Now we got Mildred. That's the one I'm proud of. Mildred's doing great. Now let's see if the goats will go on up. You guys are next. All right, y'all see Tip's already in there. Tip's the smartest one here, y'all. No doubt, he's the smartest one here. Y'all come on, come on, come on. All right, everybody's in. I'm gonna shut the door and look at that, y'all. Ha, 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 You guys are awesome. All right, guys, look. Look at here. Everybody's up. Everybody's up. And that was easy. So easy. Easy, easy. Hey, Mildred, how you like the cattle feed, huh? How you like your cattle feed? You like it? Did you eat it that fast? If you ate it that fast, oh my gracious, Mildred. Okay, Mildred loves the cattle feed. Mildred usually is not finished until I'm through with the goats and then some. But she ate that cattle feed like it was nobody's business. She's licking the bowl. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let Mildred out. That took me Oh gosh, I don't even know how long that took. I should have timed it. Didn't take me long at all though. Not long at all. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Mildred's gate. She doesn't have any food left. She's just licking the bowl. All right, girl, come on. Come on out. How was your cattle feed, huh? Do you like that? It looks like you did. Yeah, it sure looks like you did. You're doing awesome though in your stall, yeah. So now we gotta wait on Aunt Jessie right here. This this right here usually takes more time than putting the guys up is waiting on Jessie to get finished eating. She's a slow eater, really slow eater. But that's okay, everybody's different, Jessie. Some people eat their food like Loretta and some eat their food like Jessie. Jesse enjoys every morsel, I believe. Yeah. All right. Take your time. We ain't in no hurry. I gotta go put Mildred's feed up in the barn anyways till I get us a feed barrel, okay? Yeah, take your time. All right. So you guys can see, it is going really, 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 really smooth really smooth and it's working out perfectly. Mildred is getting 
cattle feed like she should because she's outgrown that goat feed, so she's on cattle feed. Jessie is having equine feed. Peaches is having her mini pig feed, and the goats are having goat feed. This is, this is, this is awesome. You still eating, girl? That's okay. We gotta get this water filled up right here. All right, Aunt Jesse. Come on out, girl. Come on out, baby girl. Come on, we'll leave this one open here. Come on. That a girl. Good girl, Jess. Good girl, Jess. All right. Well, y'all, there you have it. That's, has that been a week? I don't think it's been a week. I have to go back and look. It, maybe it's been a week. Let's just say one week. One week, these guys have learned what they need to do, where to go up in their stalls at night, and I'm quite shocked to be honest with you, but I should have known though. I should have known. I should have known that my crew was this smart. I mean, should have known it. What are you beaches over here blowing? What you blowing at, girl? Huh? <laughs> Y'all be good. Mm -hmm.